The next step in this process is to write a message to the seller that very clearly explains what I need and what the seller might want to do to establish if there's a mutual interest. I think of this just like a first message on a dating website or just like a first message to a job interview. This is where I'm attempting to establish the terms of a relationship I'm looking for and I try and think clearly of the other person. So what I've done, and this took me about 20 more minutes between videos to do this, I turned these bullet points into this message. So I started off with their name because the one most important thing I've found to remember with people is their name. So to recognize that they are unique and they're special and that I intentionally sent this message to them. That This isn't a message I just spammed to every single top seller. That I carefully chose them based on the gigs they have to offer and then I've sent this message for them. So I've started it off with saying thank you for your work on Fiverr and congrats on being a top seller. And I could even say this, which I noticed while I was looking at video production gigs and congrats on being a top seller. So now I've established exactly how I've found them. Because when someone messages me, I want to know how did you find me? Did you see one of my courses online? Did you watch a video on YouTube? Did you see me on Facebook? Did your friend tell me about you? I wanna know how it is you found me. Because that establishes the parameters of why we are talking to each other and what context the conversation is. So then my brain can load all of the relevant responses. What makes it difficult to communicate is no previous context. So this sets up first personalization, then specific reason that I found them and located them, and then congrats on being a top seller, taking note that I am very interested in a certain status they have related to sending this message. Then the next key part, and I like to set this up with a how would you feel, because that's what's important. I want people to look at what I'm offering to do and figure out how exactly would they feel doing this. I found in sending introductory messages that this is often a great phrase that gets people on the right page because some people are likely to get excited. Others are likely to be put off or annoyed. So if they're put off or annoyed, I want them to just say no right away. Let's not go any farther. If they're excited, I want them to focus on that excitement. Same as if I wanted to look for a date, which I learned all of these strategies looking for dates and thankfully they work to find my wife. So it's nice they work in business too. I want them, if they're excited to say, all right, yeah, this sounds like a great project. And when you say how you feel in it, it kind of opens the mind up to look at what it is. So I come in next with how would you feel about making screen capture and or talking head videos, giving me an inside look at how you've been able to become and remain a top five or seller. A very clear, what I think is very clear, objective for working together. So that's the broad theme. Then the specific technical details in here. So I've tried to keep this message short while making it all inclusive so that someone who's interested has everything they need to say yes or no immediately. So it's tricky to not have a really long message and to include everything. So this is my best attempt at it. And then the basic format for the videos, I've got here one to five minutes down to earth, technical requirements, ideas, no script provided. So there I've got exactly what I need and that way they know based on the technical details. They might say I don't do things without a script although I've tried to screen that out or they might say I w charge this much per video. They get an idea immediately of whether they want to do this or not. Then follow up instructions. If you're interested please let me know how much you would charge per video and or which gigs to order. Realizing that some may have a specific gig set up they want me to use. Others would rather just do a custom order. And then finally, my vision. I am hoping to make a great Fiverr course, which I'm making right now, live here with you, with five to 10 hours of video, including my videos and those from other top sellers. So to get them an idea that this is a collaborative effort, we're working together, and their part of it is important. And so specifically then, I appreciate you reading this. 
to honor that they've spent their time going to the bottom of this and then what I hope for. I hope to hear from you soon, exclamation point, to get them excited. And someone laughed at that on one of my YouTube videos. So I like to get someone excited. And then sincerely, Jerry Banfield. Now, if they're really cray cray, so to speak, they're really crazy, they could Google my name and see who I am and what I'm doing. And that could give them even more information. So I've given them everything I think they need in this message to get this set up in a, a successful working relationship. Now the next step is to convert this into a personal message that respects the individual seller I'm emailing or technically Fiverr messaging. So I've got this whole message copied and if you're ordering on Fiverr, you could even do this even if you're just ordering from one or two people or you're interested in making a relationship with someone that can help you. You can see this takes recognizing a clear need I have. So if you can find a clear need you have that someone else can help you with, then you can do amazing things with it. So the next step for me is to use this format to make it easy to send a powerful message to those 20 sellers.